What? This storm must have taken up the power. And left on the creepy red light? I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's play Madison! Hello and welcome to Hula New Place Short Ish Indie Horror Games. And today I'm going to play Madison by Bloodiest Games. I uh, recently played the demo, it's been a while, and I know that the demo is years old. Um, I played an updated version of the demo and I had seen it like years ago from, I think, John Wolf. And um, it looked, still looked amazing. Um, it's one of those things where when the demo originally came out, it looked amazing, like unbelievable that it could look like that. And, and then I think it was one of those things because it has had been out for so long. A lot of people didn't think that this would ever come to fruition, but Bloodiest Games totally did it. And the game was released in July. Everyone jumped on it, but I didn't because I had just finished the very long playthrough of the quarry. And I was kind of exhausted from longish games, so I concentrated more on the Mortuary System, which was also amazing. Like, apparently this is a really good year for indie horror. Um, but now, you know, the like the hype has settled down. Everyone has played it. Everyone has seen it. No one will watch this. <laughs> so now I can take my time with it. You know, that's amazing. And I really want to, because I've heard only good things about this. I did not watch any Let's Plays. I did not read any reviews or anything because I really wanted to go into this without knowing um, anything. I want to I wanna be surprised. So, okay. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, photosensitive epilepsy warning, mature content. So suicide and violence, but also if flashing lights are not. So I mean, this is about cameras, so there will be flashing lights. And probably also for, you know, horror game reasons. Let's do normal. I'm not the hard let's player. I'm really not. So let's do normal. New game. Confirm! If you find yourself in the dark, try to light your way with the camera's flash. Okay, try to think of that. We'll do. Oh, it's loading slowly. In normal and hard mode, the photos are unlimited. Remember that you can discard the ones that are not useful from the inventory. Oh, that's cool. So I can spare my inventory with photos, but then, I mean, you never do it, do you? Like, you take a thousand pictures of a two-day vacation, and then you never look at them again, you know? Uh, you post two of them, and then the rest will stay on the camera forever, for eternity. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, it's a me. Answer me that. Just answer me that. What? Oh, I have something in my. You oh, what? What the hell were you thinking? What in the hell crossed your mind? I don't know. The fuck is happening to you? I got something in my eye. You've ruined our family. Oh. What am I gonna do now? Did I kill them? Oh man, I'm sorry, I had something in my eye, and you know how it is. Like, if you ever had something in your eye, it's it's cruciatingly. Okay, uh, what's this? E. Oh no! This, this can't be happening. God. Oh, am I... Who am I? Uh, wait, left, right? Oh, okay, that's a leg, that's an arm. And back. That's not good, right? Put it in my inventory? Oh man, that's kind of horrible. That's, uh, okay. Um, let's first look at this. I'm very, yeah, this is horrible. Oh god, no. <laughs> I don't like this, that I have to drag it. I know there's other Let's Players. Uh, Tench Frost really does not enjoy this. But well, it is what it is. From your cousin. 
Okay, that doesn't help the post though if they have to send it back to John, Maxwell and family. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, back. That didn't help me at all. Can I do something with this? Oh! Hello, hello. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's the noise. Okay. I was wondering where this mechanic noise comes from. I have to find the handle. Okay. Uh I have to find the handle. Ah, okay. So that opened the the inventory, but because um I d don't have anything else in the inventory. Oh, I need the I need the TV to light up the room. Oh, and now I can't. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's a lot of is it leather or blood? Oh, it's probably blood. Uh yes. What it what, what is this? Is that the handle? Yes. Okay. Can I open this by the way? Dad? No. <laughs> Oh, that would terrify me so much. Okay, I can run. I think it's a horrible... I mean, it's a, it's a horrible trope, you know, in horror movies. That you wake up, you don't know what happened, and you probably killed a lot of people. But in real life, I mean, it's one of the biggest, most horrible things, you know, to... Um, to not remember that you did something heinous. There we go. Well, no. I guess in the... that's uh... Okay, so I guess in the, the trash thingy we will find what we need for this one. Okay, oh wow, that's a pretty stressful beginning. Use! Whoop! And now I can awkwardly drag it. And what do we have here? A bloody... Ha why is there... Okay, why? It looks very murdery. Like someone really took a lot of pains to make it look as much as a, you know, a murder weapon as possible. All right, use. Blop. They were actually the other way round, right? You are not my son. You are not my son. Is he coming? Can I go? The priest? Come on. Maybe I can get up through Grandpa's house. <laughs> Taking you with them? I, I gotta get out of here. Maybe I didn't do it. Maybe Dad was the one. I mean, he's he's pretty aggressive. I mean, yeah. If your family was killed, you would be pretty aggressive, right? Oh God. No. <laughs> but dad is here. Oh my god. Is this a hide? Oh no. I hope it's not. Look. I need to find a way out. Before dad notices I'm here. I thought this would less- oh! oh! What is this? Why? Wasn't there a door here? Oh shit, no. Oh, we know this one. We saw that in the demo. <laughs> no, I thought I can solve all my problems with a hammer, but apparently not. Anything here? Albert Maxwell. Okay. Um, still closed? Yes. So... hearing here oh <gasps> I didn't like the flickering ah okay oh, oh god um, no we need something for this as well I hope this is not where I have to hide and run away because I'm really bad at those okay I guess I take this Um, Grandpa 
was just like that. Is that a good thing? Albert Maxwell. Okay. Didn't sound like a good thing. Serial killer? 1984? Huh. Maybe we need more light for this. My, my birthday present? How did it get here? Mom, Dad, we love you. And... Witchcraft ceremony. Okay. Um, how do I use? Ugh, what? Hold to use the camera. Okay. So. Oh. But I don't. Is it an old? Is it old fashioned? Are we not from 2022? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, what's with the... Okay. Yeah, that doesn't give me anything. But there was so much written on it. I thought that would kind of... Um, bloop -de -bloop -bloop -bloop. No, this is not helpful at all. What's all the noises? Is it me? Because I, I heard bottles, but there's no bottles on this ground. That's 1984, right? Use. Uh... Uh, okay. It's a little bit awkward because I have to use um, WASD to walk and then E, but then the numbers pad. But okay. I, th I read 1984, so I guess this is it. Okay, I have to look this up. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my god, blah blah. Tell me what to do! Oh my god! Okay, I would never so. So, we cannot open this little hatch. It has nothing to do with what we have to do now. The eye here is to take a picture of it! This is not how the world... No, this is not how I think. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very much one of those people who very, you know logically look at stuff when they look at puzzles oh my god i will be horrible with this the walkthrough will my will be my biggest um my biggest aid okay I, i'm 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 shaking it i'm shaking it like a polaroid picture hey y'all <laughs> there's nothing happening okay so it's the news now so someone someone did a thing okay Holy mother. No, don't. Why can't I? Again? What's going on with you? Little rascal. Can I put the picture here? Uh, ah, ha! I should find a nail or something to hang it with. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh, where would we find. Oh my. You're again? What's wrong with you? Creepy clock. Can I get a nail? Oh, there's a nail. Good. Um, there we go. Do we know the person? Bop, 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 bop. Okay. And now we hang Grandpa's very creepy picture. Look at that. Or oh, Grandma. Grandperson. 
Let's just yeah, stick with that. So so what what now? Do something No. Did something change now? Here maybe? Oh my god, I can't believe I spent 20 minutes trying to solve a puzzle that's unsolvable. Can I take this? Like a really nice... No? Picnic blanket? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't sufficiently... I Honestly, the sound design scared me a lot because it always sounded like Dad will burst in. Huh. I don't have anything. Can I use this? No. Can I use this? No. No. Maybe... No, nothing changes. The shaking mechanic, honestly, I don't like it. Because it takes ages. Look how long that takes. Should I go back to there? There's something I can do here? What did I do? I won't be able to go back. Okay, well, that's actually a good thing, right? Because I don't want to go back there. I mean, I don't want to be here either, but that's another problem. Okay, so... Oh, I think I know. So now I will take a picture. Because he's standing there, maybe I have to do this. Blop! No. <laughs> I was worth a try. Huh. Oh, Luca! Oh, damn it. I hate- why- 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 ugh. Why? I don't know, why is it- why is it impossible to- uh, Luca? Okay, it's five, six, seven. Well, that didn't help me at all. Should I take a picture of you? Oh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Well, we'll see if we can align. I had the opposite idea, you know. I thought he's standing there, or they, they are standing there and taking a picture of the wall, so I will do that. And now we'll do the whole shaky shaky. Oh. You know, I, I just put it back. I think this is much... well, there you go. Oh, creepy. Okay. Oh, that's the study? No? Yes. <laughs> this is such a chaotic let's play. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're here now. Alright. What the hell has dad been doing here? That's dad's study room? Yeah, I would be concerned. So dad of said he was repairing grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? What is going on? Okay, 43 years old Satanist woman killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. Believe it or not, the 43 year old years old woman found taking pictures of one of her. Dreadful pictures of the victim's bodies were found in Hale's basement. Officer Russell testifies. Oh, as informed by the police department, the officer that ended Madison's life testifies that before dying, the serial killer begged for her instant camera. The 43 year old woman is suspected to have taken pictures of her victims once mutilated. It's like an evil within two. St. Jupiter's Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. After a long history of incidents, St. Jupiter's Cathedral is all the rage once again upon confirmation that it will hold a public wake in honor of the soul of the 43-year-old serial killer, Madison Hale. Wait, in honor of the soul of the killer? Not the victims? Who murdered a total of four people last month. The wake will be public and free, and according to the priest's sayings, they will seek to illuminate Madison's soul with divine light, allowing her to peer into the gates of heaven. No, she can go to hell. I mean, I don't believe in God, so whatever, you know, but still, that's kind of shitty to not even think of the victims, but hey, well, but it's it speaks very much of how we treat these things, you know. I mean, I'm into serial murderers, I know quite a lot about some of them, and I'm perusing the Reddit forums, etc., and some people get really hyped about them, you know, and there's, it's kind of, ugh, creepy. Madison Hale, 43 years old, serial killer. Serial killer Madison Hale was shot down to death by Officer Russell. I don't... What they write it like this? Ah, anyways. Who has just testified to have found her dismembering her victims inside a well of her property. 
Madison agonized a few hours before she died. Even though she was shot in the stomach, the killer managed to survive a few hours. Well, okay. Serial killer caught and murdered. Up to four bodies might be involved. The police found mutilated body parts in her basement, with, which looked almost ripped off from a movie scene. Wait, were the body parts ripped off? Or did they look like they were ripped off from a movie scene? As described. Four dismembered, but apparently four were victims. Witchcraft or mental illness? Well, mental illness, probably. But this is a horror game, so probably witchcraft. I hope for witchcraft. It's better than psychological horror. Evidence of mental illness was found inside the 40-year-old woman in Madison Hale's house. <laughs> yeah, that's not a journalist who wrote those. Who apparently was trying to complete a sinister ritual which might involve murdering and buttering people. Man, what kind of... I mean, there's a lot of ins rituals, I guess, that involve that. But why, though? What is here? Nothing. What's this door? Nothing. It's locked. Okay. Okay. Madison Hale. Is she dead? What's wrong with the camera? What's a... What's a dark entity? Was then why did she kill her parents? Man, dad. That's a horrible conspirational board here. Okay, victims. Lynn Jamie, neighbor. Robert Hale, father. Judith Hale, mother. Diane Fletcher. Did she know him? Oh, Dave? Dr. Drake? Drake Fletcher. What was that noise? Oh, that noise. Too many questions. Yeah, well, also, you could have used a notebook, Dad. Is she trying to communicate with my son? What? With a me? What should I do? What's happening? Why did she kill her parents? I'm dead. You're weird. Shot by the police. What mounted? Is Luca part of it? Why would I be part of it? Keep away from children. Uh, pocket size box for general purpose use. Also available in long and extra long size. Average contents. Strike gently and away from body. Interact. Oh! J. Oh, that's the same. Okay, and now we have this weirdo thing. Let's take a picture of this. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Do I really need to do this? I hope kind of not. Eh. Okay. Anything else here? Anything? This is dad's study room. Oh, this is ghastly. I mean, if I had my wild conspiracy theories, I would at least have like a cozy conspiracy room. It would be messy, of course, but it would still be, you know, a lot of cool, nice corners where you could sit down, a lot of pu pu uh, pillows, etc. Oh, we'll also get to get a tape recorder. Huh. Priest Thomas? John, I hope you find this useful. Please be careful. Remember what we talked about. I get back to you as soon as possible. Priest Thomas. I know tapes are old, but I still struggle with computers. Whoo, really? How old are you? When does this play, by the way? When when does this play? Uh, back. Anything in here? No. Okay. Blo no. I could just... Eh. Here you go. No. This? Yes! Oh, oh yeah, there's the sign on there. Take? <gasps> Lucas notebook? My notebook? So dad's the one who took it away from me. What's in there? We can store stuff? I mean, not now. Because I don't know what I will need. So this is our little... Oh, this is so creepy. It's... I, I like atmosphere in my in my Heidi rooms. Okay, what's in my notebook? Interact. Sister's leg. I don't remember drawing any of these. Mom's... Going insane? Arm. Well, that's still to be... F oh my god. Maybe he's already dead. And I, I imagined him. I already killed him. This oh god, and this wasn't him. This was just my conscience. Grandpa's house. I haven't been here 
since he died. Okay. Everything looks dreary. None of these people know how to make mess look kind of nice and cozy. It's an art form, by the way. You know, as a messy person, I know it's difficult. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck. What? The storm must have taken up the power. And left on the creepy red light? I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, um... But it has no this won't work if there's no power. Grandma and Grandpa's room. It's locked, okay. She looked cute. He looked, well... Handsome, I would say. But not Hollywood handsome. You know, real life... Oh! Who has that? Why? No! No! Also, what? No! This combination! This is sick! I don't like this! Holy shit! Grandpa! What the heck? What's that? Grandpa dedicated his whole life to clock making. I mean, that's beautiful. Oh, I can't take this with you, with me. I, I would like to take, okay. Let's go to the basement though. I'm getting distracted. Is that the base? Oh God, no. Chains? What? Maybe Wait. I can break them with something. Oh, that smells awful. Oh, okay. The but pipes must be clogged. This is not the basement. Where's the basement? Maybe down the stairs? Yes, yes Hula, probably. If you hear creepy kids, that's from outside my 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 flat because we have a school directly in front of my flat. Use no. Ugh. Um. Do I get any info how to use this? Okay. I don't know. No, okay. On, off, on, off, on, off. Is that it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, that statue. I hate it. Did that work or not? Because everything's still fucked. No. Oh! Okay. Now everything is still super creepy, but not as much. Well, maybe it is. Okay, let's go to the tape recorder. And listen, at some point I have to cut this off because this will be more episodes than one. Because I know this is a long game, and with me and the puzzles, this will be a very long game. <laughs> okay. Um. From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon what? attaches itself to a human, Demons? it becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until it devours every last part of their soul. <clears throat> In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. Yeah, that's what they do. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. Ah, is it ever? <laughs> I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures. But by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. No! Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, 
The host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, so dad even violent. This is the result possessed? of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them malleable, compliant. Person. This is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects. Cockroaches in particular. Oh, okay. My advice, steer clear of the insects. There's just no way. I can't be possessed. There must be a mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Uh, oh, God. My head. Uh, a door. A red door. Uh, what's happening to me? Is this what that man was talking about? It can't be happening to me. Oh, open the notebook. Could it be the basement door? But don't we want to look first? Man, this is so full of cool stuff. This, you know what? I never played it because it was actually too scary for me but i watched a lot of visage <laughs> let's please <laughs> and this reminds me of it this vast dimly lit horrible environment and me trying to kind of stave off the demons wow why are why does everything look cursed in this game okay but this is good right we found a key that's always good so Demons and possession. So what I thought was really weird uh, was that the priest said we should do what the demon wa wants because, you know, demons from a religious perspective are Christian. Pers oh, well, no, religious because demons are, you know, they're like, they're like vampires. Every single culture has kind of a story of them. Um, and they're usually from the bad side, you know, from the devil or whatever evil entity any religion has. And you should kind of never do what they want because it, it goes against God. So that's a very sketchy priest to say this kind of stuff. I don't trust that priest. That's it's it's one of the weirdest, most abs Oh my God, advises. Good Lord. That's why we don't like this. And with we, I say gamers. Because I, I doubt that a lot of gamers are like, Yeah, finally, I love this. Awkwardly opening closets instead of just clicking on them. <laughs> oh my god, okay. It was so nice having <laughs> both houses connected. We were able to have breakfast with Grandpa every morning. That's nice, but it's only three people, so it's Grandpa, Luca, and Chanel. Who's Chanel? I can't take it with me? Oh, okay. Um, so, we took the clock over from the other room. Oh yeah, this is the cursed statue and skull room. What is this? Okay, no. Oh, I don't like this. So there's a clock. Like, why would I have this in my... No, I hate this so much. I would hate this. I would get scared constantly. No. But a lucky cat? Huh. Wow, that's a lot of medicine. Poor Grams. But also, why put this... Why would you... Already looked at this? 
And this is locked. Okay. I wonder, are there multiple endings? Don't tell me. I'm just... That's a rhetorical question more. Wondering aloud to myself. Oh, that's the clock room? That's... Yeah. Uh, was I in here before? Look, what's that? Oh no, another puzzle. Combination. Right. And eight. Left. That's it? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, do not use. Why not? Can I use this here? No. Okay. That is ominous. A toilet that can't be used in a horror game? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's locked. So I have to go to the... But I, I think it's really nice you can like look at everything. But it's very clear where you have to go next. Okay, so this is going. I hope I don't have to do this more often. Oh, basements. Creepy basements in horror games. Why? Okay. Jupiter and Mars. Oh yeah, witchy rituals. They love... Oh. They love those star, moon, planet stuff. You know. Oh, those witches. You know, always on about horoscopes. Okay. Oh. No. Everything's so dark. Oh no, that's the red door! Oh, but it's locked. So... So much about... Yeah, so much for that. Huh. So we have to go back? Hmm. So... My theory, yes, my theory is, um, we saw the death was 1984, um, so maybe Luca was born, you know, because we heard that the, sh the, the witch didn't die at the place of her house, she died in the hospital, and it was very likely that on this very day, like, she lived a few more hours, and on this very day, uh, Luca was born. There is no need. Oh, I probably have to take a picture of the red door. Um, and, you know, the father then got... Maybe Lucas started to act really weirdly. And then the father got, you know, suspicious. And read up on it. And that's when he became so obsessed with it. And maybe even Grandpa already was possessed. Maybe Grandpa had something to do with it. Because Gramps was the one with the Polaroid, right? Blabby bloop. Yes! Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Hey, hey. oh no, I won't say. Oh my god, that was horrible. I'm so sorry, Outcast. I'm sorry. Oh, police ca tape. Um, you know what? Let's do it the easy, easy way. Um, well, it's not really easy, but caution. Okay. Oh, that's the well. Uh, what? What is this place? Well, well, well. What's what's wrong with me? I don't know. Those symbols. I've seen them before. Did you? Is there an eight here? No. Um. Mm hmm. Does it look the same here? Yes. Okay. Um. This one? No. Huh. Oh. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Grandpa's tools. Okay, nice, I guess. No, I need to open the thingies before, right? Yeah. <gasps> no!
Where did I see those symbols before? I'm very convinced that we won't see Dad as a real person, only as a ghost. But let's see if we can actually... Were we here before? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, but I like this. I like this. There's a few things I'm not the biggest fan of, but in general, I, I really like this. Okay, is there maybe here? 11 February, 12 February, huh. What's this? There's the moon. Wait, didn't I make... Oh, didn't I take a picture? Oh, those noises! No! Oh, there's three... Oh, God. I sh yeah. I'm a doofus. I even made this so I didn't have to go back. Ugh. Oh. I'm my own worst enemy. You know, those those witch girls can't harm me. Just I will sabotage myself enough. She just have to look unbelieving, you know, be like I can't believe this. I used to work so hard to like get people, possess people and whatnot. And this this person, they just make it so easy. It's embarrassing, really. Like I don't even want to possess them because it's been so easy. <laughs> Just there's no there's no art in it anymore. I, I don't have joy in this. Okay, so no um, interact. So we got the thing and the moon and the fork. All right. Here's the thing. Um. No, that's not it. That is it. Come back. And the moon. I have this that Zamora song in my in my head. But I don't know the exact lyrics, so I will not like sing it. Scene. It really does, doesn't it, Luca? And that's not a good thing. It's in general not a good thing if you have something like this. So maybe grandpa moved in this house accidentally. You know, and um... Discovered this. Oh no! Wait, why can't I open this now? Shit! Wait, maybe I have to... Okay. Whoa! Groovy. Shaky, shaky. Eggs and a bakey. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this is how we do it. Oh. Okay. Do we? No. Oh my. I would uh, never. Mm 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 mm. Why is he not trying to just get out of the house? And you know, going down a well, that's not... <laughs> ...getting you anywhere. Oh, no. Uh, uh, the smell. The water is disgusting. It's probably full of body parts. Oh my god, no. Oh, this... I don't like... No. Like, you can't see the corners. The water is disgusting. Apparently it stinks. It's horrible. This box <gasps> is extremely rusty. It is. I won't be able to open it easily. Well, we'll find a way. So we'll go... Oh no, shit! That wasn't there. Yeah, I know, right? What? Oh. I'm the crime scene? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Huh.
I did not like this. No. No, it took me ages. That was scary. Wait, if I don't shake them... them otherwise they will not develop oh god it takes so long I wish I wouldn't take so long I don't think no wait it's not that it doesn't it takes long I think it just doesn't okay officer Russell here oh June 17th 1987 527 a.m. I am now entering Madison Avenue's basement. Oh, 987, not, not 84. That's when I was born, I can right? See, there's a sort of well in, in the center of the room. <sighs> Looks like it's open. I'm gonna investigate further, see what's on the other side of this. <coughs> God, there's a Horrendous smell coming from down here. Yes? Oh, God. I almost can't take it. Time to make things worse so I can't see a goddamn thing down here. Shit. I think I found the missing individuals. It's so big. Uh, they, they, um... They're too big. They're just everywhere. They're too big. I can't see Madison. I don't think she's here. Uh, I gotta get out of here. This is too big. I don't like it. They're too big. Look at the hand. It's gigantic. What was that? I, uh, I think I'm not alone. There's definitely someone here. Is it me? No. Madison? Is is that you? Oh my god. Police! Show yourself! The deck's in order! Oh! Okay. Oh! Ew! Okay. Floating, gigantic limbs. Stand back! Put your hands up where I can see them. Oh my god, no. Don't come in any closer! Step back! Please said step back! It was just the house and not the camera but of course yeah that totally makes sense but why would they give me a haunted camera grandpa was on him what is this place maybe is grandpa had relations is it possible that she's still alive
Oh, this one. Ha! Okay. Because of the cockroaches. Because they were running away from it. Oh, no. Welcome back. Achievement unlocked. I'm not happy to be back, to be quite honest. I could live without all of this. This entire- so this entire house is a murder- oh god. It's oh no! <gasps> no! Why the attic? I don't understand. Oh, Luca. I'm so sorry. Alright. I think. Ooh. I think this is a perfect cutoff point. Blap. Uh, quit. Confirm. Alright. So, first chapter, basically, well, in my head. Um, and this is a really cool premise. So, Grandpa moved to this murder house. Uh, pr probably to be closer to his family. Or he was already living there. The family moved closer. Maybe Grandpa, maybe he's behind all of it. He looked a little bit sinister, you know, in the pictures and everything. And we saw all those pictures of Grandma in the room, in the birthday room. I think because she looked like um, the the woman on the on the wedding picture and I think that this will be a family story in the end because why would someone possess Luca just you know for nothing and maybe it was it had something to do with this um, so yeah I think Luca was possessed by that woman F dad got suspicious but I think grandpa was also kind of involved in this so we'll have to find out what happened to Gramps what happened to grandma also um, and why they they decided to to give us this haunted Polaroid camera um, yeah I, I like this really a lot um, it, it it plays for, you know like the typical horror game which is not a bad thing um, I know why it got picked up by so many let's players I mean I recently I thought about why moon down which is one of my favorite horror games ever, was never really picked up by the big ones, you know, by the by the big, big horror Let's Players. Um, and I, f I have a theory that it's because it just, it looks different a lot. And maybe people get put off by the different look. Maybe they think, you know, it looks like it won't be a good game. And um, this one, it looks like really like a classic. It looks like Visage, like PT. Um, it has this, you know, Resident Evil 7 vibe. So it's very old classic, really cool indie horror game. And I think that's why it got popular. It's a shame that p games that look different and try to do something different are not getting the traction as much as a game like this. But this is not, you know, it's more a thing of I'm super happy for Bloodiest Games that they got this big, you know, support from the community. But I'm also really sad that people like, um, yeah, like Ziegler, who was the developer of uh, the Hidden Games Studio, you know, Ziegler is the person behind Hidden Games uh, of, of Moondown, that they did not get as much support from the horror community. Because it's kind of a shame, you know, because people are always complaining about, you know, all indie horror games are the same, but then they don't really support games that are really decidedly different. And I think especially horror can do a lot of different things. Okay, but to this game, my first impression is um, the spooks are very well done. I think my favorite part of this is this this the sound effect because they are super creepy because they are very they come from far and then they're very close and you never know especially at the beginning when you still think dad might um, follow you. I don't think he is alive anymore because we had those three paintings of mom's leg, sister's arm. And then dad's head and I think that's already happened and that the dad thing at the beginning was the psychological horror part where you know conscious conjured up dad telling us what did you do which was basically us telling us you know what would, what did we do um, but at the beginning when you still thought dad might you know burst in um, then the sound effects were so 
amazing because it it sounded like you didn't have enough time in the puzzle room where I spent too much time in. Um, and yeah, I th I love them because they're very there's sometimes weird sounds you don't really know, but they kind of all belong in the house. It's not like random stuff, you know, where you're wondering why would you know what what's the child's voice to do with this whole game or where does this toy ball ca come from? You know, it's nothing like that. So it all makes sense in this old house to have certain sounds you know it's very well done i like the look of it the, it plays so far very much like visage um yeah but i'm really looking forward to the story because this sounds really i mean i love a good man which stories are so good when they're done well uh, i just like a little bit of folklore horror and i really hope this is you know it starts off as a psychological horror game but then we'll go totally into the witchcraft lore i really want this because i think you know witches are super scary when again when they're done well witches are some of the scariest horror villains i don't know why zombies and vampires and werewolves are so popular when witches are right there i mean you know they're just they're so like terrifying what they're doing you know um Especially since they're much more like werewolves, vampires, and zombies. They're just on their own, you know, that's it. They're their own little lone riders, or, well, zombies are usually in a group, but, you know, that's... Outside, there's nothing. But witches are connected to everything that's dark and otherworldly, you know. They're deeply connected to either the devil or demons or, you know, other creatures. So they're, they're basically to a thinly veiled other dimension, you know, uh, another plane of existence. And, and that's what makes them so interesting. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. Really enjoyed this uh, first part very much. I hope you enjoyed this as well. If you noticed something, if you uh, saw something that I didn't pick up, you know, feel free also to tell me about your interpretation of the first parts. You know, how did you like it so far? Um, <clears throat> and no spoilers, please, because really, I don't know what's what will happen and I don't want to get spoiled. I want to experience this, you know, like a freshly newborn baby discovering the world of terrors. And um, if you're new to this channel, for some reason, you never know, then, you know, you can subscribe. And I promise you, if I find, like, the Polaroid com camera of a, like, convicted and murdered serial murderer that was connected to witchcraft, I will not gift this to you as a birthday present, you know. If you're into cameras, I will buy you a new one. That's totally promise. A new one without the curses attached. How about that? Subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you had a wonderful day. And uh, maybe see you next time. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.